Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Dentistry with Nursaira. Today we will learn the branches of maxillary artery just under 3 minutes. Well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Well, the maxillary artery is one of the larger terminal branches of external carotid artery given off behind the neck of the mandible. The maxillary artery has three Parts, that is the mandibular part, it has the pterygoid part and the pterygopalatine part. Well, the first part that is of the maxillary artery runs horizontally between the neck of the mandible and the sphenomandibular ligament and gives out these branches that is the auricular branch, tympanic branch, middle meningeal branch, accessory meningeal branch and the inferior alveolar branch. The easy way to remember these branches is the mnemonic taken by the first letters of A from the auricular, T from tympanic, M from middle meningeal, A from accessory meningeal and I from the inferior alveolar branch makes a mnemonic acne treatment might aggravate it. After this, the maxillary artery passes over the head of lateral pterygoid muscle and it, this is called as the pterygoid part or the second part and where it gives out branches that is masseteric branch, deep temporal branches, buccal branch and the pterygoid branch. So if we take the M of mesoteric, the D from the deep temporal, B from the buccal and P from the pterygoid branch, we get a mnemonic make dinner before party. After this, the maxillary artery starts with the third part, that is the pterygopalatine part, which passes between the two heads of lateral pterygoid through the pterygomaxillary fissure to enter the pterygopalatine fossa, now where it lies in front of the pterygopalatine ganglion to give out these branches, that is posterior superior alveolar branch, infraorbital branch, greater palatine branch, sphenopalatine branch, the pharyngeal branch and the artery to pterygoid canal. And if we take the P from superior alveolar branch, I from infraorbital, G from greater palatine, S from sphenopalatine, P from pharyngeal and the A from artery to pterygoid canal, we get a very easy mnemonic that is big spa. So I hope this video has been beneficial and helps you remember the branches of maxillary artery. If you have anything where I can help you make mnemonics for or if there is any artery or nerve that you're finding difficult to learn, please mention in the comments and I will come up with a video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. For more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.